let's uh, change topics for a second and get into this weekend Yankee Stadium, and uh, we bring in Bernie Williams. Bernie, welcome. How are you? Good. How you doing, Mike? I'm fine. A big weekend for you. I mean, Yankee Stadium is going to be fun Sunday, Old Timers Day, and uh, Bernie Williams back in uniform. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I've been, I've been sort of dissing that for the last five years, but I think it's probably time now to wear that uniform again. Well, yeah, and, and you know what? You don't even have to retire to do it, right? You, you, don't, you don't worry about it. You, don't, yeah, you just have to put the uniform on, go out there, soak up all the applause, and then go uh, have a, Have you been working in the – have you been working on your hitting so you can go up there and hit one out when you get up or what? I've been working on the, my knuckleballing pitcher. I think, you know, I'd probably use a knuckleball out there now. Oh, really? <laughs> Wait, I know one thing. You'll bat right-handed, right? Yeah, probably. Probably will. Well, you know, you're looking for. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, looking forward to it. Even when I was playing, I was always, uh, I always looked forward to Old Timers Day. You know, to see all those guys. You know, part of the uh, legacy and uh, uh, part of the history of the team. And uh, a lot of those guys, like Yogi and Moose, and, and you know, it was just such a treat to to see them and spend some time with them. You know, it, it just you know really put my career in, uh, in my you know place on the team in perspective. I was like, man, you know, I'm part of something bigger than myself, and I'm and always very proud of it. Uh, very happy to be uh, be there. And now, uh, and, and now with this new group, you know, now as with Joe being there and yourself being there, and in years to come, all the guys from the '96 to 2000 plus Yankees, that's going to be a lot of fun because you guys are going to be able to come back, soak up all the fan love, and you know, everyone can think about all those championships you guys won. Just, uh, you know, great to be part of that group of uh, guys that will be sort of associated with those great times that the, that the Yankees had back in the mid-'90s. I keep telling people that I'm, I'm part of the new generation of relics. Oh. Yeah, that's right. You're, you're a new old-timer. That's what you are. You're a new, you're a new old-timer. But there has been some precedent. You know, I, I remember... One time, uh, I think there's one year that Luis Soho actually played at the played at the old timers game and then stood up and, and played for the second half of the season. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you still play. You, you see that you still got that you still got that comeback in your head, don't you? You see that? Uh, no, man. I, I, I'm way done. I, I'm only I'm only joking. You know, it it, it was just it was such a great ride. You know, mentally you always want to be there. You always want to have the opportunity to come back. But that. I know that uh, my time uh, was uh, was great and I in the past. I got the book. I, the in, I got the book in the mail the other day. When does the book officially come out? Uh, July 14th, I believe, is the official date. But uh, there have been uh, copies, and I think you know you can uh, order the book and uh, have a an advanced copy uh, of the book, you know, mailed to you. But I think it's going to be in bookshelf, you know, July 14th. Birdie wrote a book about baseball and music and how you combine the two. And uh, so he wrote an interesting book on that, which will come out and be in bookstores on the 14th. So uh, I'll tell you where and how you can get a copy when we finish the interview. But how, what have you been doing? You been Have you been uh, working a lot? Have you been traveling and uh, appearing and doing a lot of music or what? Yeah, we've been doing uh, a lot of uh, music and uh, baseball sports-related stuff. Uh, I think, you know, it is sort of kind of retired from playing the game, but you never retire from being a Yankee. So it's, it's great to have an opportunity to indirectly maybe represent the team uh, in some of these uh, charity events and some, some of the functions and some, some of the other things that I've been able to do. Uh, so it, it's been really interesting. The book is called Rhythms of the Game, The Link Between Music and Athletic Performance. Bernie Williams with Dave Gluck and Bob Thompson, the forward by Paul Simon. So uh, the book is uh, out. It comes out, as Bernie said, on uh, July the 14th. I'll tell you in a minute where you can uh, reserve a copy. But it's called Rhythms of the Game uh, by Bernie Williams, uh, talking about the link between uh, music and, of course, baseball and uh, all athletics. And Bernie will be at Old Timers Game. Lou Pinello will be there this year. Joe Torre will be there this year. So it's going to be a very interesting. I, I think the Old Timers this game is going to be fun this year with you in uniform, and before long, there'll be a lot of the 
you know, the 90s Yankees. And, you know, this group is going to get treated like the 50s Yankees did, where all you guys did was win. So this is a group that people want to tell their kids about. And now the guys who are 15 years older from that group that won starting in 96, they're all getting a little on and they have their own families and they want to talk about all the memories for you guys. So it's always going to be a fun date from now on. Yeah, it's, it's always great. Uh, and I think, you know, uh, obviously being part of the community here in New York, you know, I get to live here and, uh, you know, share a lot of time in the community. And uh, I, I hear uh, a lot of the young guys, you know, like maybe 25, you know, 20, 25-year-old uh, young people, you know, come up to me and say, hey, man, I remember – uh, when you guys were playing back in the 90s, you know, that was the team that I was, you know, kind of like the team that I sort of grew up uh, watching. So thanks for the memory. So it's always great to, to uh, I mean, even find you, some of the younger generation Yankee fans, you know, to come up to me and say, hey, I, it, was, it was just great to see you guys play. So it's always great. It is, and you, and have, you know, and it's important. You spent your year, your whole career with one team. You played the most – you know, the most glorified position in baseball, the center field at Yankee Stadium, I mean, for 16 years. I mean, that's a, you know, that's a special thing. You played it all in one uniform, and you're enormously popular with the Yankee fans. So it's a nice thing to have. It really is.